Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to continue working on part 2 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to set up our grid lines, our level, our exterior wall. And here we're going to continue working on this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in here. And then we're going to add our stairs. So let's go to architecture and I'm going to click on stairs, which is right here. And then don't forget to save your project. And then I'm just going to leave it at 1000 um, width for the stairs. And then here I want it to be level one to level two. Um, and then number of desired stairs um, we could leave it like that i think that's good enough depending on how we want it and then let's just click here uh, to start so i'm gonna click here and then we could actually move it like that and then i think 17 is too much so I'm going to change it to maybe 14. And then because of that, it will change itself. It will recalculate everything. And then now we just need to have 17. So here, once you do that, we could click on finish. So we have our stairs. We can now select that. So we could... Um, move it accordingly to what we want. So something like that, I want it to, be, to have some space here. At the same time, space will, will be added here as well. And then we could just use align AL so that we have it on the wall like so. I'm just gonna leave it like that. We can move this one left or right later on depending on the design. Um, I will have uh, a door right here with a pantry. And then an, uh, actually we could put the pantry right here and then we could add something right here as well. So it's it's basically something that we, we could do. A storage right here, a pantry right here, and then uh, a door here for the uh, entrance from the carport. And then we also have the main entrance right here. So multiple entrance for sure. Um, so now what we could do is we could add in our doors so that uh, everything will be cleared. Um, so let's go to insert load family. Once in your load family, go to doors and then click on residential. We could add um, the interior uh, doors like this. So depending on what you want, I'm just going to add it with this one. So interior one panel wood. So click on open. Uh, I usually select everything. So select one and then scroll down and then hold on shift and then click on the bottom. And it will select everything, it will highlight everything, and then you just need to press OK to load them. Yes, you want to continue, continue, and then now you need to go back to architecture, and then click on door. And then you'll be able to access those doors. And as you can see, this door is so small. So what we want is around 750 to 900 millimeters. So depending on what we do, and then we're, we're going to maintain the height to 2,000 millimeters, so 2 meters. So for now, let's add in 850 door right here. It looks like it's too big. So let's go to 750 by 2,000. So I, I believe that's good enough size. And then we could flip it later on if the design doesn't work. So now we could just move it like that. 
and then we, we will have our landing here and then here what we could do is we could add in the interior wall so let's click on here edit type duplicate we just need to rename this interior wall number one press ok and then we're gonna uh, maintain the 150 thickness and also the material so that's good I'm going to add it here so somewhere like that for now and we're going to move this one a bit like that so that um, the the error was like this one is overlapping here and then here we could click on interior wall again and we need to add a wall right here and then that wall will be edited once we create a section um, section wall or a section so now to fix this you will need to a section which is under here which is around the top but I move it right here so that everybody can see because of the the way I edit or screen shot this video so here I just need to go to right and then left so that the orientation or you could just click it here and then flip it so depending on what you want it will be shown so now I just pull it back so that it we don't need to see everything else except this part so now you can also double click it here or you could just click it right here so depending on what you want you can also do that so now as you can see we have our um, stairs right here but we need to edit this wall so what you need to do is select this wall and then edit <coughs> profile by editing the profile you can see that you can attach this wall to the bottom of the stairs or you can even overlap here but I think the best way we should do this is to just um, create the profile right here so what you can do is click on the line or you can choose this pick line pick this line and you're done you just need to trim it tr and then tr here and then delete everything else once you do that you can click finish and then now everything is connected um, you could check it right here it will be like that you can just align this al align it to this face and to this face and then everything will be aligned so that's another way um, also you can delete or you can edit the stairs so that you don't have this so actually I'm just gonna click this edit type and then if you don't want the stringers I believe you need to put none and then none here once you do you won't have that stringer now you will need to edit the profile again so to do that again you just need to go to your section click here and then edit profile again now as you can see you need to pick lines again so this is more tedious but it will look much better in terms of your designing the interior But most of the time, as you know, I don't do interior work, but at least you know what to do when you have this kind of dilemma.
So now we just need to click on that, delete this. Now we need to trim and extend. So trim and extend again here. And then this wall, we could just extend it much more right here. And then as you can see, remove constraint, we can go over at the top. So it much it looks much better. We could cover this, and then we just need to add this right there, and then now we could trim and extend here, and then trim and extend right here. So it will look much proper. Now when you click it, click finish. If you see it on 3D, it will look much better. And then let's show it at a consistent color. And then what you need to do is you just need to align AL and then align them all together like that. So it will look seamless like that. This one, the left side, we don't need it. So you could just delete it like that. And you will, you could just have this one. You can change this to maybe glass depending on what you want or rectangle so something to do when you're do when you're planning to do interior as well so now we could just cover it with another wall so if we go back here we could click on the wall again interior wall and we could just close this off. So now once we close that off, I believe we need to move this all together so that it's right here on the wall. So I'm just estimating it. You can basically align it so that it's much better, but we need to align that on the, at the, on the other side just to be sure that everything is good again. There we go. So we align that as well. And then for the stairs, you can change the material. So you can click on the stairs, edit type, and then you can change the materials right here. So you need to go here and then thread and riser material. You can change it here. If you want clad white, you could do it. You could change it to cherry as well. And then for the riser, you can add the clad white. And as you can see, it all blends in. It's much better when you see it like that. And then here you just need to add in um, the railing, the similar railing once you have the landing. The landing is the floor as well. So, so that looks very nice. So now we could add in the sliding door right here as well, or a door for our pantry. So let's go back here. We should just move this one like that. Let's insert and load the sliding door. So let's add this one, click open, select the top, and then hold shift, select the bottom. And then now let's go back here and click on door. As you can see, 
it's just exact and I believe if we click here we will have an error message but it looks like it doesn't so we're good with that but here as you can see it's too big we could create our own so we could edit duplicate we could close this we could you could put any name you want but you could put the name of the the width so maybe because this one is 1000 so we're just gonna put 800 I know it's very small but at least we have a storage right there we could also add in a door as well but I want to show you how, uh, how you can edit some um, some families that um, you will need so here under width you can just put in 800 and once you do everything will be recorded and you will see that you'll be able to add that door with a specific um, width so that's how he easy it is to change um, or to edit families depending on the families because some families are hard to do because the the way that people did it they didn't set up it properly so depending on how the uh, family were, was set up here um, this our pantry but we're just gonna go to annotate and then add in some detailed line I'm gonna use demolish and then here we're just going to add a demolish and a thin line showing that there is some shelvings there so something that you could do as well so that to show that there's like shelvings here to put some stuff and then if it's a, a closet uh, most of the time you put in two dash lines so here we have one um, line and here is a da dash line so a straight line and then a dash line um, let's add in our another wall so another trick that I want to show you is once you have for example this interior wall and you want to add it again simply just type in CS so that's create similar under modify so that is this one create similar so I already type it so it's already grayed out here but it's basically telling Revit that you want to do the same thing that the, the one that you click you want it to do it again so it um, it applies to a door furniture and walls and everything that you can think of so that's something that you should uh, know what to do so that you don't need to keep on looking so because once you loaded a lot of stuff it will be hard to just keep on um, looking for it and then adding it so once you have it right there you can always um, use copy command or create similar if you're doing it like a wall right here so now we're going to add it like this uh, for the dimension I want it to be 3000 so let's delete this again and then let's type it so CS from here I want it to be 3000 so 3050 let's do so once you do have that you need to close it here and then add in a closet right here so the closet around 800 will be good enough and then now as you can see I don't want to go to annotate again and then click here and then set it up with a demolish so that's a lot of steps again so what you could do is click this line CS so that's create similar and as you can see everything is set up 
accordingly. So you don't need to set it up again. It's already set up depending on what you click. And then here, I want a door similar to here, CS. Let's add in a door. In terms of size, you can click it again and then select your size right there. So that one is changes the, the height, but if you click it 15, it will change. So let's put it back. So that's how easy it is to change uh, multiple um, um, already preset families like that. So that's a closet. Uh, let's add in a door right here. Uh, this will be a different door. So let's go to insert, load family, and then let's add something exterior. I want this one, double, full. So click that, insert that, and then click at the top. Hold shift, click on the bottom, press OK, and then yes, and then you need to go to architecture and then click on door or DR. I'm going to maintain the 2000 millimeters, so I'm just going to add it like that. Uh, we could also move it a bit, so depending on what you want. So we could move it right here or there. So for now, let's put it somewhere in the middle, like that. And then I want to add the same door right here as well. So I'm going to click the eight, the 750 by 2000 here, CS. And then let's add the door right here in the middle. Let's escape. And then go to insert. Let's add in some toilet. And some sink so go back to the main uh, let's go to plumbing architecture and then fixtures water closet and we have the 2d only for the toilet we don't need the 3d it's just gonna be just for visual um, so press open and then type in cm the cm is basically um, the component so cm the place of component once you load something that is not system which is walls system door system window system it will be you'll be able to see it only on component so the good thing about here is you don't need to um, look for the ones that you load as you can see there's a lot of things that are loaded already preset loaded but by using CM, um, the process that I want you to do, and it's better, and I think this will make everything fast, is once you insert something, um, add it already on your, um, on your drawing. Um, and then by using CM, you don't need to click the component here or go to architecture, click component, and then look for it it will be a lot of um, wasted time if you do that there's another way in is by searching here so again um, that's the fastest way for me and i believe that's a good um, way for you guys to learn so that um, you don't waste time so now let's go back to insert load family we're going to add in some sync there so just go back right here under fixtures and then we have sink and then we have vanity we, we could have round or square depending on what you want um, let's add in the square click open and then once you do type in cm so you don't need to look for it again uh, press space bar so that to orient your object so for example, if you click on here, this is somewhat round. If you click it here, it will contour depending on the um, where it's being overlaid. 
as you can see because this is this is somewhat um, circular it will contour to that circular um, object and also right here you can see that it moves depending on the orientation of that um, shape so obviously if we have it right here and if you have it on space it will be on 90 degrees so that's just something that you need to that's something good to know especially if you have like a 45 degree oh this one's some somewhat 45 i could just use this so that i don't need to manually rotate it to 45 so something that um it's good to know as well so click on the sink press escape and then we could add in um, a line representing the the work surface so as you know we have the line here as well so cs that's create similar and then now we could just add it simply like that and then we could just move this one using our arrow key and everything is looking good so we have a lot of space here and we have a lot of uh, entrance right here as well so thank you for watching and i hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below